Good morning, everyone. I'm Josh. And I'm Maddie. Today we're going to discuss yesterday's election results. More on this after news and announcements. Colombia's most wanted drug lord, Dario Antonio Usago, was finally captured in Antioquia, Providence, after a manhunt went underway on Saturday, October 23rd. According to CNN on Saturday, Colombia's President Marquez went on television and officially announced the capture of Usaga, who goes by O'Toniel. Ever since the 1990s, the capture of Pablo Escobar, Col Colombia hasn't had to deal with a terrifying drug lord until now. It has also been reported by CNN that O'Toniel wasn't feared just for the overgrowing influx of drugs in the country, but also the crimes that he committed as well. He was also the leader of the Clan del Golfo, which was considered heavily armored and violent by the U.S. State Department. Bill de Blasio might be returning for governor of New York. The mayor of New York City has not formally announced his run, but sources tell us that he has filled the paperwork since his final team is coming to an end. If the Democrat <clears throat> does decide to run, he will be against interim governor Kathy Hochul, who is running for full term in 2022. The burned dairy at 1800 Fayette Street, along with two others, was robbed early on Tuesday morning. The suspects are said to be both male and have had weapons and have had to flee the scene in a vehicle after the robbery. None of the employees working were reported injured. The robbery is still currently being investigated. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Here we go. There will be information and sign-up meetings for boys and girls indoor track on Thursday, November 4th after school at 3.20 in Mr. Carr's room, B33. If you're unable to attend, please see Mr. Carr for more information. All right, starting with the winner of the State Supreme Court, Daniel M. Fogel. The City of Syracuse new mayor is Ben Walsh. Matthew Johnson, our interviewee on Monday, lost to Timothy T. Burtis in the running for Legister 3rd District. Town of Manly's supervisor was a close call between John Deere and Richard Rossity. Now let's move on to the weather. Today, on Wednesday is a very interesting day because even though it's November 3rd, there's already going to be some signs of snow, which means for the next couple of days, we'll be unseasonably cold with highs barely being in the, in the high 40s and lows in the mid 30s. So make sure you stay warm if you go out. Now, back onto the snow. Today, some lake effect showers from Lake Ontario will start heading towards our direction today and will give some snow to the Tug Hill area. Tomorrow is when lake effect showers reach the Syracuse area, which means some of us could get snow, but most of us will get slush outside. Thursday will still be cold with that unseasonably cold weather, and we'll most likely have rain rather than snow or slush. And with that, I'm Grayson with your much colder forecast. New York had five proposals on the ballot proposal one to amend the restricting process failed the process 55 and 45 percent. Proposal two to the right clean air and water passed 70 to 30 percent. Proposal three eliminating the day, the 10 day waiting period for voter registration and proposal four authorizing no excuse absent ballot voting were shot down 57 to 43. And finally proposal five increasing the jurisdiction on New York City Civil Court was approved to 64, 64 to 36%. Now into sports. The Las Vegas Raiders have released receiver Henry Ruggs III following his involvement in a fatal car crash. He is facing felony DUI charges due to death of his girlfriend resulting from the crash. 
A champion was crowned last night as the Atlanta Braves beat the Houston Astros 7-0 in Game 6. This is their first World Series win since 1995. Jorge Soler won World Series MVP. He went 6 of 20 through the series and had 3 home runs and 6 RBIs. The Chicago Bulls beat, defeated the Boston Celtics after coming back from a 40-point deficit. DeMar DeRozan ended up with 37 points and Nikola Vucevic also added a double-double in the making. The boys' soccer team plays their regional semifinal game against Avril Park High School at Hornet Stadium at 7. If the boys win today, they will go to Central, Central Regional Championships. If they win that game, they are the Central Regional Champions and advance to the state semifinals. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Thank you so much for watching today's show. We love you guys. Hope you all enjoyed your day off yesterday. Have a good day today.